<coughs> Just keep and watch over the pool of sticks there, same as always. Oh. Orpheus, I don't suppose you know how come I keep running into Eurydice in particular out there. For all the shades resting eternally in Asphodel, it seems beyond coincidence I always find the one that's dear to you. I have no knowledge of the weavings of the fates, my friend. Perhaps they trample on what used to be my heart for leisure or for sport, do you suppose? The fates can't be that cruel. <clears throat> Father loved her, didn't he? Mother, I mean. Faith like that. He's just stubborn enough to hold on to the idea of her, isn't he? Though what she saw in him, I'm not sure. Your father was different with Persephone, to some extent. He has always been as you know him, yet... Her lightness... It affected even him, I think. And he knows that he was better with her than without. Sounds like a lot of pressure on Mother to fix all his failings. But it sounds as though she cared for him as well. And you, and Cerberus. She said she misses you. She did, did she? Flattery won't get you anywhere. We can't go back to how things used to be. Flattery never got me anywhere with you to begin with, Meg. Doesn't mean I won't keep trying. I am ever stubborn, aren't I? Sagrius. Good. I wanted to tell you something. Your victories against me. They don't count for anything. Sounds like you've been giving this a lot of thought there, Meg. How do you figure? Nyx's mirror. You couldn't possibly beat me without its help. Or hers. I'm not competing with you, Meg. I'm trying to get past you. To the surface. Call it what you want. You're doing what you have to do. I understand. But you're not stronger than me. You just have more help. Nothing wrong with having help. Hey, Chef. Oh, how could he? What is it now? I see that sneering look upon your countenance, which must mean you have yet another one of your insipid questions, haven't you? Oh, this one's not insipid in the slightest. Let me get this straight. My mother's Persephone, her mother's Demeter, but her father evidently was some farm boy. My red blood comes from him. And my propensity to die, I guess. You blame your ancestors for your own weakness. You should be thankful you were born with immortality. Though your meddlesome curiosity and constant need for affirmation must certainly be from your mortal side. Then Mother did... She grow older with age. Is she just going to expire as the mortals do? With demigods, I hear it can go either way. I said never to speak of her, blast you. You said yourself she is the daughter of the goddess of seasons. Use your fool head for once. I'll have to try that, thanks. I mean, old father's nice to you at least, isn't he, boy? The many-headed Cerberus is busy thinking of his next savory meal. <clears throat> Achilles, sir. You happen to know whether Father authorized the transfer of a Macedonian Tau Lambda chariot to Elysium in recent memory? I ran into the former hero Theseus, all joyriding about in one of those. I know the chariot you mean. It's not just any Macedonian. It's modified, apparently by Daedalus himself. No earthly weapons can do what it does. Though, please don't tell me Theseus put on that mask. What, you mean the golden matching mask? I saw him wearing it all right. Looked like a proper fool, I thought. What of it, though? <laughs> well, I think that Daedalus would certainly agree. Heard that he fashioned that mask and outfit as a little joke. For someone deeply prideful and well unaware. It must have suited Theseus quite well, then, yes? That it did, most definitely, sir. Oh. Has your relationship with Nyx been lately, do, sir? She strikes me as a pretty intense supervisor. 
You getting on okay? Oh, Miss Nix? I'll do whatever she says. Why? Did she say something about me? She did. Oh, why would you be asking otherwise? Oh no, am I losing my job? Hey, no, 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 it's not like that. It's just a feeling that I've had from glimpses of the interactions that I've seen between you two. I haven't always got along with Nix, but I know she cares deeply about this house and everyone in it, including you. <laughs> well, that's nice to know. She cares about my work performance, that's for very sure, and I'm doing everything I can to live up to and exceed her expectations. Tell her that! I may not use those exact words. How goes it, Shanes? What do you need? You are in so much trouble. Mm, no. Let me see here. next time. Remember, hang in there. Darkness give me strength. Other side. Must be on my means. Nix's power. Any luck last time? Let's see what you can do in terms of hitting me, pal. What are the limits of your power? Beyond time, Zagreus. All right, back to work. Authorized. Maximum punishment. as far as it goes. That's as much heat as I can get from this. What could go wrong? Dionysus. How goes it this time, man? Everything fine? Who we'll hold that fault? I wager we can make things finer yet. Ha! 
out of my way. Do your worst. That's what you get. the gift he gave to what I offer you. Oh, look who. So how do you like the surface, hey, Princess? Now that you've finally had a chance to see it for yourself. Not too bad, I hope. It takes some getting used to, that's for sure. I'm not sure I'll ever grow completely accustomed to it. Do you miss it, sir? Oh, you know, I still have almost everything that matters. And the rest? It makes for precious memories I didn't have up there. You got it. Thank you, mate. Take care of yourself. Wears. Should be useful.
delicious. to just lighten up a little, you know, man? Always dragging down the mood with talk of blood and nastiness, all sorts of stuff like that. Why am I Lord Dionysus? I fail to see why such discussion is perceived as unbecoming of a feast. A successfully conducted war is certainly a cause for celebration, is it not? Keep you waiting, ladies. Ready, sisters. You ready, Megara? To Symphony? Let's go. Moving on. My keepsakes. Okay. Heading up. Be there soon, Lenny. some extra punch into this shield. Never been a finer shield. that you need assistance, Sagrius? You brazen wretches ought to have turned back. You definitely ought. has indicated you possess a list of prophecies from the three fates. I've such a list upon Olympus here. It seems to be connected to your own, as several prophecies already are fulfilled. Isn't it such an honor to urge fate along? Hey.
最強じゃん Nephew, for she is still recovering after the sudden disappearance of her daughter. Though it was quite some time ago, the girl, poof, just vanished. I try to lighten up the mood around it every now and then, but no, a sore spot still. Wretches that you're always fighting with down there. They're really moving lately. Whatever's made them go all out, it wasn't me. Asphodel. Punch into this shield. There it 
is. shall make you fall right back in line. Well, that's that. Now he's angry. you off the hook and take you back under my wing for now. Ah, oh, yes. Thunder and lightning. Mother of all soul catchers.
to it. Power of Olympus. Asterius, other guy. I'm telling you, you're wrong, Asterius. He is no royalty, most certainly not any I would recognize. He's but a nameless, long-forgotten minor god, born of the depths and bound to stay in them. I, too, once was berated by such words, King. We faced this enemy how many times? At my estimation, he's fought bravely here. Bravely? Hiding behind those pillars is what you call bravely, Asterius? We shall have to discuss this strange lapse of judgment after we achieve our victory. Cerberus is patiently at work instead of resting on them. That was Elysium. in here.
those passageways. What is this stuff? down this Sata hole. Thanks. 
of here. Got to keep searching. I'll take this one. don't understand. I have done virtually everything within my power to prevent this. All of it. For nothing. The fates were not content to saddle me within the earth. They mock me still. Maybe they just think you're in the wrong, and that you're an obstinate, overbearing, and miserable excuse for a husband and father. Don't you understand I'm trying to fix the problems you caused? since you're so unwilling to do it yourself. <sighs> you're right. I was unwilling. I made my choices in all this. I loved her, yes. I loved her terribly. But now, it seems I'm merely delaying the inevitable. Go then. Go to her. But should harm befall her, I shall bring my worst wrath upon whomever is to blame, including you. What? You're letting me go just like that? You're just afraid of getting struck down again. You're serious. Go. Before I reconsider. Not this time. Goodbye, Father. Wait, what is all this? Oh, Zagreus, I almost missed you. Truthfully, I hoped that I could make it a surprise. Make what a surprise? My arrival. I'm going. To your home. To Cerberus. Nyx. Your father. Really? Mother, you... you're serious. I am. Now, if you could just help me pack up my remaining things. Only a few loose odds I'm bringing, just in case. If we hurry, maybe you could join me. Rather than return the customary way. Not something a mother ever wants to see. join you, but wait, how are you going to get back? I hadn't thought that far ahead. Just so happens I know somebody who can give us a ride. Charon? Doubtless he has pressing matters to attend to. So let's not keep him waiting any longer, son. Come on, then.
I'm still alive. But how? You're on the River Styx. No longer in the mortal realm entirely. I can't believe that this is happening. I know. My heart is racing. Nothing like a river journey to remind oneself that there's no turning back. Seriously. Though, even after all of this, it's like we only just met. I have so many questions for you still. We'll have plenty of time for them, I think. For now, best we keep quiet. Pretend we're just a couple of dead souls on their final voyage.
We're here. We're here. This is embarrassing, but I don't know the way to get back in. Except, you know, the customary way. That's quite all right. I do. In the name of Persephone the Queen, open the gates! I spent many days tending this garden. Or nights? Quite difficult to tell the time here. But it's hell... Persephone, I... Cerberus, I missed you so. And dutiful as ever, aren't you? I'm sorry. Know that I am sorry. Hades, you look tired. Though I am not the only one you ought to be apologizing to. I know. I know why. Why have you returned? If Olympus, if your mother discovers what happened, not even Zeus, not even he could stop what would transpire here. Oh, I have a thought or two about how we can settle that. Though I shall need for you and Zagreus to cooperate with me on a solution. Or, if you'd rather... I could just return the way I came. A solution? What, do you intend to have them over for Ambrosia? Not even you can fix a broken family, Persephone. You're right, Hades. I can't. Certainly not by myself. So are you going to help me or what? I would do anything that you would ask of me. Then first, talk to your son. Hmm. Zagreus, you have already met Persephone, our queen. I expect for you to show deference to her at all times. Wow, father, you called me by my name. What is this strange sensation that I feel? Perhaps it's this deference of which you speak. Oh, stop it, both of you! Don't make me regret this, Hades. Speak honestly with him. About yourself, not me. Go on. Yes, I... Zagreus. I know there have been times when I've let my mood reflect on you. I showed very little patience. Question your judgment, often when my own was flawed. Thus, I apologize to you, my son. I have no excuses, and I ask no forgiveness. What about the part where you lied to me about Mother? Do you apologize for that? Your foul moods and venting them on me. I've long since come to expect that from you, and I resented you for it. But I always thought you're honest. Your mother did not come here willingly when we originally met. When she left, believing you were stillborn, her decision was final. I believed that she was better off without the lot of us, Olympus included. Deceiving both of you, it tore against my being, but it needed to be done. Well, you didn't need to vent all that inner turmoil onto me throughout my life. Though, I think I understand. I only wish I could have understood sooner. So, uh, what now? I've grown so used to ransacking your domain, I think I'm really going to miss it. About that. Your ransacking revealed many flaws in our security. The types that never get into reports. Our reputation rides on there being no escape from here. Would you... Keep trying to break free. Not for my sake, 
but for this realm, for the Queen. Zagreus, if you keep fighting out of here, it shall help keep appearances that everything is as it always was. Question, Father. Let's say I accept. When next I reach the surface, is it still going to be you waiting up there? Ah, boy. If you think for an instant that I shall go easier on you because of this, you'll soon learn otherwise. So I just battle to the surface and repeatedly kill my own father, then? You have it half correct. Perhaps you'll also tend to my little cottage while you're in the area. The garden doesn't take much care at all. I'd like to keep the place in decent shape. In case I cannot suffer this for long. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see what I can do. Just do the best you can. And clearly I've work to do as well. We have a lot of it ahead of us, I'd say. So, shall we get started then? Thus was Hades, feared ruler of the dead, reunited with his long-lost bride, Persephone, the queen. And together with their firstborn son, Prince Zagreus, they would go on to reign eternally beneath the earth in relative harmony. The queen's return marked an occasion of enthusiastic joy, so much as possible in that dark, gloom-filled realm of the dead. And even after all this time, Olympus never did discover what transpired there, in the underworld. After all this time, it's only been a few days, but it's been good. Mother and father are back together, made some new friends, got this fancy painting. Easy. All is well in the underworld. <laughs>